Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really, really appreciate it. Especially my new viewers and new subscribers. Your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel has truly been amazing. And I'll never take that for granted. I'm a 57-year-old American who grew tired of the rat race at home and decided to pack it all up in search of a new life in the Philippines. Well, I found that new life, and I want to share with you my boots on the ground experiences. The only way I know how. And that's by giving you the nitty gritty. That's just exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing. Never gonna sugarcoat it, it's not gonna start today. Subject of my blog today is, I'm gonna give a shout out to expats all around the world. You have those brave men and women who for whatever reason, sought to leave the comfort of their homes and their uh, countries in search of a new life elsewhere. I'm declaring today, International Day of Expats. We deserve to be celebrated. We're trailblazers, we're pioneers, and we're tired of the criticism. We're tired of apologizing for what we've decided to do, what many who watch us are afraid to do. But I've got a message for you out there. No risk, no reward. No balls, no blue chips. See, the criticism that we take, it's unfounded. Really, I'm gonna tell you, if I were a business, which many of us, we are our businesses, and we decided to move abroad because the labor and operating costs are cheaper, the profits are higher, they'd applaud us. But now we're, we're looked down upon. They say, hey, how could you leave behind everything you love? Because we love life more. See, we snatched the page out of the William Shakespeare handbook. This is what William Shakespeare says, and I agree with him 100%. He says this, he said, what little we know of death, life should be a paradise. Yeah, and see, we seek that paradise. I want that paradise, I want it now. I'm not looking for some pie in the sky when I die. I want the best right now, and thank you, expats who came before me for showing me the way. See, if I was an investor, because most of us, our lives are investments. And we made a great investment that paid off down the line. People would call us geniuses, but they don't call us geniuses. They call us weird. Oh, he's a sex pet. Oh, he, you know, he can't make it. He's a loser in his home country. No, I'm a winner today. And I'm not going to apologize anymore for having a beautiful woman in there. They say, oh, you can't get a woman at home. Well, guess what? Who says that the women at home are the standard? As a matter of fact, where I'm from in America, women only represent 2% of the population. Am I supposed to just limit myself to 2% of the population? I've got a message for you would-be expats. People who are, you know, on the fence. Should I jump or should I stay? Listen to this. The business you're looking for, the relationship you're looking for, the life that you're looking for can probably be found somewhere out here, not where you're living right now. The world is, the earth, not the world, the earth is approximately 197 million square miles. Check this out. Where I'm from in Louisville, Kentucky, 334 square miles, ladies and gentlemen. Let that marinate in your mind to see why my thinking was so limited, to see why I was so unhappy, so frustrated. You know, I got tired of trading lives, trading women, trading jobs, trading fantasies over there. I wanted to seek a new beginning, and that's what we do. So today I'm celebrating those brave souls, the ones who busted out, never to go back to being the same human beings they were before. The US Navy gave me my travel bug, but it was the expats, my fellow expats, who gave me the courage to seek a new life. So we're gonna celebrate you today. Scoffers be damned. Let the scoffers scoff. Critics be damned. Let the critics criticize. Most of you people who criticize us, your shoeless Joe Jacksons sitting in your home country behind a keyboard on a couch somewhere, frustrated, miserable. Well, we're happy today. We're living a life that we never even knew existed. If nothing else happens for me today, the life I'm living now is the best I've ever known. It's a dream that I hope I never wake up for, from. So today on International Expat Day, I want to celebrate expats from all over the world. 
let's let's create a support group, the strongest support group on the planet. So when one expat falls down, we can pick him up, no matter how many times he falls. So thank you so much. Have a happy day today. This is your day, expats. We're trailblazers. We're pioneers, and we should be celebrated for that. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. If you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, you're just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break, and you see somebody in the street, by all means, buy them something to drink, buy them something to eat, give them a couple of dollars. If you had the vaccine, give them a hug. If you're in the Philippines, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. You have the whole rest of the day to find somebody to help. There's no excuse to over here to intentionally not to intentionally go out and find somebody to help. There's literally millions and millions of people over here who need our help. It's very, very important we help each other because if I don't know anything else, this is one thing I know for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID-free, and I'll see you next time.